Back with the football focus at Kickback Jacks on Battleground. Busy night at Kickback Jacks. Got a good show planned tonight. A lot of football going on. College football tonight. Got uh, SMU at Houston. Later on, got the pros. We got uh, Washington at Minnesota. Kirk Cousins gets his old team. Got mm -hmm. Alan Hooker with us tonight. Alan's with us. His son also to be here later. His other son, Hendon, had a great start to the season up at Virginia Tech. Came in as a backup quarterback. Now the number one quarterback. He's on the injured list for a couple of days. He'll be back in action when they go to Notre Dame next week. Ragsdale this week, got a big game coming up against Northwest at home. The Tigers, Austin Hooker's team last week. Austin, six touchdown passes. I guess the career game for him, probably his PR, his personal best. It was. Personal yeah. record. You know what, you're exactly right. And he, um, that was his, the household best is what we call it, Andy. So, Hendon wow. threw for six touchdown passes at one game in high school. And uh, so Austin matches that. And I tried to throw in my record from A&T, but they said it didn't count because it wasn't high school. Now you so had six at A&T as well? I had six in one wow. game at, That's a at household a record. Then. That's the household record. Personal record. But wow. they won't let me be in that number because I didn't do it in high school. You guys didn't throw as much at Eastern Randolph, did you? Oh, my goodness, no. We did run it well. <laughs> yeah. We, we ran yeah. It well. Donnie Baxter had us running the veer, that, 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 that split back veer, and it was like Novocaine. Man, yeah. you had to take your punishment back then. <laughs> yeah. And that's something that uh, about quarterbacks, there's a few quarterbacks run. That's something I'll tell you what brings up a point in my mind. Devin, when he's at quarterback or running back, Devin takes some punishment too. Devin, uh, Devin Boykins. Boykins, the backup quarterback and the running back, the wide receiver. He plays everything for Coach Johnny Boykins, Rags of the Tigers. But boy, Devin, he'll take some shots too. He will. He's a Swiss Army knife. You can put mm -hmm. him anywhere if it's in a football uniform, and he will excel at it. I I truly believe if they move him to, to guard, he mm -hmm. would pull and he would he he would knock he would knock the defensive end out and, and you could run right behind him. He's just a great football player, extremely good talent, comes from a good family. His older brother too now can oh, run yeah, a corner route. Yeah, yeah he can fly, he had yeah, a lot of speed. So good. Yeah. And I tell you some interesting too, talking to Coach Boykin about to talk Coach Boykin this maybe last night night before talking on the phone. If uh, Devin was at Raleigh this year at NC State, he'd probably be starting Saturday. With all those beat-up defensive those backs beat they've up. got down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You're exactly right. You're exactly mm -hmm. right. I mean, he can turn around the dime and uh, comes up, and he'll stick his nose in there, too. That's the fun thing about watching his highlight films. Highlight films are deep from defensive back. It's just fun to watch how he circles to the ball, how he covers the, all the territory he covers back there. Yeah, no, he does. He has a knack for the ball. He's a, he's, he's a student of the game. He's been around the game for a long time. Oh, yeah, no but, doubt. But he has those special things that we see out of players that, that get to the next level. Some of those things you just can't describe. And you think about uh, from Ragsdale's standpoint, it's helped out Ragsdale with Austin going there. It's kind of loosened things up. They could do more things this year. Actually can. And, you know, when you have a weapon like Devin on, on one side, the defense is going to shift for him, which makes Reeves a, a, a lot easier. You, you got to double Devin. You know, if, if you leave Devin one-on-one, -on -one, you got to find and hit him. But so as a defensive perspective, they've got to flow over to him, which makes things available for Platt, who is an excellent receiver and runs good routes. And then um, Mixie, number 15, is one of Austin's mm -hmm. boys. He, he can be found in the secondary, too. Now, I guess during the summer, probably Austin and Devin Boy can probably work together a lot. And I know he worked with uh, Hendon this summer a lot, too. He did. He did. <clears throat> Every summer he gets an opportunity to go up to um, Virginia Tech for a week and hang out with him and see what that work regimen is like. And uh, not just on the field, but in the classroom and, and, mm. and in the cafeteria, too, because there's a, there's a dietary um, workout, a training good. plan that, that those guys are on. And you think about all that work. I saw him in a photograph. He was up there last Saturday, too. I think he was on the sideline, <laughs> Austin yeah, was. Yeah. So I saw photograph there. And the game I like this year, I was at that one game I saw Ragsdale so far. I should see him again next week when they play, I guess, against Grimsley. That Grimsley next week, should see that game, too. Mm -hmm. But the game I remember was the Mount Tabor game. And they were going right to left late in the game. They were down by, I think it was 20 to 14, Ragsdale Trail, Mount Tabor. Mount Tabor, very good ball team. Big running yeah, backs and yeah. uh, big tall quarterback. Got some big linemen. But they were going right to left. I'm thinking, if Rags still scores, they would take the lead. It's kind of a, it wasn't the very end of the game, but it was a drive late in the game. I started thinking, this is taking me back to Page about three years ago. <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. Hendon's taking that team down the field right to left late in the game. The last drive after Seagraves got that punt return, got it down there, four downs inside, I guess the 10. Wow. That's one drive or one game. I win, lose, whoever. What happened? That was a game I'll never forget. That's a great game. That's a great game. A lot oh, of good yeah. athletes on that mm -hmm. on that field. Then, yeah. And so, incidentally, Alan Tisdale, who was playing linebacker on that mm -hmm. team, yeah, now with Hendon over at Virginia Tech in the and front half. Doing quite well, around. yeah. He's yeah. doing very well. And another guy too. We could probably talk all day about these things, but gosh, how about that number eleven up there? Who's that oh, number eleven? My goodness, Trey Turner. Woo, man, special athlete. You know, mm. Can do it all. Did it well on the hardwood too. Yeah. Yeah, he's just as good in basketball. He can really he jump. He can really get up. Yeah. What, he's a total athlete. But you think about that play last week, it was a 55-yard touchdown pass, left side. Beautiful it play. Was, yeah. Great, 
great wheel route, the corner bailed on it, and um, the, uh, uh, the inside guy covering the three receiver didn't pick him up. And so he was going down the sideline, Hendon finds him. Great Greensboro connection. Yeah, and the best thing was that Trey Turner was healthy again. Yeah, get him back in that exactly. lineup because he's probably their top receiver, I would think. No doubt about it. Yeah. Big play Trey is what they call him. Mm, I know he loves that because <laughs> he, lives, he lives to the moment. He's always said, I think, on a lot of his uh, Twitter responses and comments, we're going to get our due. He felt like they're going to get to do one day. They're going to get it. Gonna get he's, it. he's doing yeah. it for P.J. too, I think, because P.J. hoped to still get some of his due as well. Yeah, that's right. I remember yeah. P.J. about maybe eight years ago, some years ago, I was at McDonald's on a Thursday night. And I was getting some food, and PJ comes in. He's in town. He's in college then. He comes. I said, what are you doing in town? Thursday night, man. You should be down at school getting ready. What? He said, no, I'm in town to watch Trey. He's in the city championship for, like, Pee Wee or Mike football. In town to watch his brother <laughs> okay, play football. Brother, brother, football. And that's back when uh, Trey was playing for the, you know, Greensboro Parks Rec Youth Football right, League. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. No, good story. Great family. A lot of good experiences over there. I tell you what, in a good summer, too, for P.J., I saw him this past summer at a baseball game, downtown Grasshoppers, one, I think it was a Friday night, he, come, he was out there, I recognized him, I said, how you been doing? He said, doing well, he was holding, he had a little baby girl. <laughs> so he's a daddy now, which yeah. is, is a good thing. That's it's a good thing. Responsibility. Plus, he played in that, uh, what was it, the challenge he had in Greensboro, the basketball yeah, challenge was came the, through? The, I know it was the, yeah, the challenge tournament, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was in town for that, and they did pretty well. They did good. I think yeah. the team, the, the kid was at UNCG, Kyle, what Kyle's last name, his team finally won it, I believe, in the end. But yeah. I think PJ's team made it maybe to the semifinals. Yeah, they did well that first night. It was exciting. And PJ hit the, hit the uh, three yeah, point and win the game at the end. Too. Yeah, exactly. Saw that shot. What about Austin? It's probably what was his best game this year, probably the game last week, then, you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think he, um, he kind of got into his groove a little bit. You know, he struggled a little bit early, but he kept his head up and. Uh, he knew what his reads were, and he let the ball go well. So we, we, we're extremely proud. How do you guys, from a standpoint watching him play, how do you guys carry that over to the next game? How do you, now you were in it so many years yourself as a quarterback. How do you go about trying to repeat that performance the following week or the rest of the year? Well, you know what? Because it's so big, and you got you got to come down a little bit. Think I can't. I mean, it's great, but I, I, th I don't think I can do that every game. How do you come back though and try to repeat as much of that as you can? Well, I think the thing that made him successful in that game was we have a particular process that we'll go, and it is the most important. You've got to take it one play at a time. The most important play is the next play, and when you have that mindset, then you kind of forgetting those things. So he's forgotten that he threw six touchdown mm. passes. He's yeah. thinking about what am I going to do this next play because it is the most important play. Yeah, that's, that's a good point to bring up because yeah. everybody's talking about it. You can't help but talk when you see it. Because <laughs> right. on the website, you know, we do our player of the week. So this week I had to go with it. Man threw six touchdown passes. Got to go with that because I had right. uh, Kamel Smith from Eastern. We, we threw six touchdown passes. He played Southeast. Didn't have quite the game that night. Tough night, tough Southeast defense. But Southeast right. defense and offense got the player of the week. Also player of the week. And also had the kid from Northern Guilford, Froge, had four touchdown receptions that week. So you got to give it to him too. Wow, exactly. Four touchdown no, catches no, no. in one game. Exactly, hard, exactly. Hard that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So what, uh, one more thing, we'll get Austin in here. But from your standpoint, Alan Hooker with us at Kickback Jackson Battleground. No game this week for Virginia Tech. They're mm -hmm. off this week. So I'm thinking this week you guys will probably go out of town, probably travel to the mountains or to the beach. But where will you actually be? We'll actually be off Market Street at g so. That's why I said that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said that. Yeah. So yep. the whole family's coming down. Hinton is even coming down. So wow. We're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh, meet with some friends and eat some good food. And oh, I figured you. That's why I said that like I did. Yeah, kind of facetious because that's a big weekend for everybody down there. Absolutely, it is. It's just a big family reunion. Yeah. And all my old teammates are coming in town. As a matter of fact, they're flying in now. Wow. And uh, they'll be at the game. We'll tailgate at Austin's game on Friday night. Yeah. And um, we'll hang out. They'll watch Austin So the play. guys coming to the town to be for, there for Austin's game, too? Absolutely. For, That's for Austin's fun. game. Yeah. Some, of, some of us going to split up because um, um, Peyton Page. Oh, yeah. His oh, dad yeah. He was my, here about two weeks ago. Yeah. He was here with us. And Peyton uh, came up. He said, I'm... Hookers are my family. That's yeah, that's family. Right. Yeah, 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 he was talking yeah. about that. His dad is one of my best friends, and um, I'm Peyton's godfather. And so um, a lot of the guys that I play with, half of them will go see Peyton play on Friday night at Disney's mm -hmm. homecoming. The other half will come over to watch us. Yeah, that's like the Grimsley players. They're off this week, so those guys, half of those guys will go to the Ragsdale game. Sure enough, the other I, half will go to the Page game. They'll split it up, I'm sure. I talked to Chris Zellis' mom last night, mm -hmm. and uh, I asked her, I invited her. I said, why don't you come sit with us? I know Chris is coming to scout. Mm -hmm. Rags there, but he has a big ACT test, oh, so man. he may come out for a little while and he'll, wow. he'll get ready for the ACT on Saturday. He yeah. has had a heck of a year. He has. Good year. He was here one week with us, too. He's had a great year, great kid. I'm just happy for him and his mom. And his little brother is actually a cheerleader. KJ. Yeah, yeah he does cheerleading. Yeah. Yeah. And the older brother, John, I think is at Fayetteville State, maybe he's still playing basketball. Yeah, well, you know, he played with Hendon at Denver. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because yeah. he was uh, 
because Chris was an ACOC back then. Now Swan, he was an ACOC, and then Chris went to Dudley, played his freshman year, right. yeah. and then he came over and took over at Grimsley. But he was a JV quarterback for uh, Dudley in that Page game. Had. It was just a, that was a wild game, it sounded like a JV championship game. Yeah, yeah, it was. I tell you what, Andy, we have a uh, we have a picture of Austin and Chris together in the state championship game when um, Dudley beat Cape Fear. Both of them on the field at the same time. Wow. Yeah, in the Dudley uniform. Man, a lot. It's freshman, yeah. So now they get a chance to compete against each other. That's good stuff. Week. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it is going to be. A, man, that's going to be really crazy. Yeah. Chris <laughs> and Austin going out of both starting quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's right. That championship yeah. game, that was when Hendon was a quarterback. Yep, Hendon was senior. And you guys playing Scotland County? No, Cape Fear. Cape Fear. Cape, Cape Fear had the huge quarterback, and he got hurt, I think, in the game. The big yeah. kid. Yeah. Gervais, I think. Was, but man, Vasquez. I, yeah, Vasquez, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the one year they played Scotland County, somebody, that was the year, was it, did Cape Fear the year, Cape Fear the year it rained, was it? Was that, that one the, was that the year it rained? That one year it just rained yeah. like crazy, one of those games. Yeah, that's right, Scotland County. Yeah, yeah that's time. Yeah, down right. rain, yeah. and I think Dudley won both those games yeah. by what you would call a convincing manner. That's right. And if yeah. you told somebody the score, they wouldn't believe you. It'd be <laughs> teams that bad in the championship game is just unreal. It's a heck of a time. Yeah. Let's get Austin in. All right. Alan, That's great. You're always the right man Andy, at the right time. Good to see you. I still remember watching Alan back when I was uh, younger at night. It was like WFMY TV 2, like on a Sunday night about 1130. They'd come on like the A&T Aggie show. Alan would be on the show, <laughs> had the bow tie on, he'd host the show. I mean, he did a heck of a job. It was a great show. I, Thank you, Andy. I commend you for that good work there. All right. Appreciate it. Austin's Austin. in the house.